And welcome back, everybody. Your time right now is 521. Here's a question. Wonder why your local restaurant doesn't have enough servers or why the drive through lines are so long? Simply put, the restaurant doesn't have enough employees. And this morning, consumer reporter John Metteris looks into this so you don't waste your money. The battle is on for workers. As the economy rebounds, restaurants and other small businesses are finding it tougher and tougher to find qualified workers. It's help wanted everywhere. So there's tons of opportunities on there and you don't know what might happen. Megan Jones tells me she was stunned by how many open positions she found job hunting this spring. So many openings, companies are now boosting pay. Hardest hit, the restaurant business. Everyone in our industry is hiring right now. It's, it's actually hard to find people to work. Restaurant owner Jose Salazar is struggling to find chefs and servers. Randy Reicheldurfer is facing the same fight. It's frustrating. You can't, you can't get people to, to show up. You can't, get, you can't hire people. To find and keep good employees, restaurants have to offer more and more perks these days. Chipotle, for instance, says it is one of the best retention rates in the business because of its college tuition reimbursement program for many of its workers. The National Restaurant Association blames three things. One, people still afraid to work in a close restaurant environment. Two, workers switching from cooking and serving to driving for DoorDash and Uber Eats. And three, unemployment benefits that often exceed the pay for some jobs. A lot of people were saying, why would I really you know, need to go back to work when I have this uh, federal and state support? You're going to have to look at this maybe a little bit differently in terms of you, know, you may have to do a hiring bonus. Restaurant owners hope to see an expanded worker pool this fall and benefits finally run out. Till then, you find lots of opportunities. You don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, Chris 6 News.